Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Clorox wipes. These are the Clorox disinfectant wipes. This in particular is the to-go pack, and it says that it kills 99% of viruses and bacteria. Now, I'm going to show you how to use these Clorox wipes according to the instructions. This particular one is the fresh scent variety in here. And we're going to go ahead and look on the back really quick before we open this up and get this to use. All right, so on the back, there are a lot of instructions that you should read. Before you use these, you want to read all of the warnings and the instructions on how to use them yourself so you don't harm yourself or others or anything that you're actually disinfecting. So let's go in and see what this is all about. It says that it kills COVID-19 virus, kills 99% of viruses and bacteria, kills staph, E. coli, MRSA, salmonella, strep, and kleb. Bacteria is prevented from growth for 24 hours when you're using this, and it has five times the cleaning power. Now, the instructions on this, it says, Disinfect on the go. Great for car interior, shopping carts, keyboard computers, computer keyboards, public restrooms, diaper, changing tables, and gym equipment. Now, instructions are to open the package, open the pouch by peeling back the seal. When finished, store, store close and retain moisture. Safe to use on finished wood, sealed granite, glass, and stainless steel. Now, the directions for use, it says, it's a violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling. To clean and remove allergens, wipe the surface clean with this product and let air dry. So if you want to clean and remove allergens, wipe the surface clean with the product and let air dry. To disinfect and deodorize, which I'm sure plenty of you are wanting to do, Non-porous surfaces, now that's the key, it says non-porous surfaces, wipe surface, use enough wipes for treated surface to remain visibly wet for four minutes. I'm going to repeat that. Wipe surface, use enough wipes for treated surface to remain wet, visibly wet for four minutes. Let surface dry for visibly soiled surfaces, clean excess, excess dirt first. So you have to clean up the excess dirt first before you clean visibly soiled surfaces. For surfaces that may come in contact with food and potable water, a rinse is required afterwards. So you have to rinse it with water, it says. This product is not for use on dishes, glassware, or eating utensils. All right. Now, one more thing that it says. It says to prevent the growth of odor-causing bacteria on hard, non-porous surfaces non-food contact surfaces wipe surface until thoroughly wet and allow it to dry now it's important that you read some of the warnings on here such as this is not for cleaning san or sanitizing skin do not use as a diaper wipe or personal cleansing clorox so there are a lot of more instructions that are on here so when you get your wipes read them yourself but i'm just going to go ahead and open this up and use this on a non-porous surface right here. I'm going to open this up and it says disinfect use for enough wipes to have it visibly wet for four minutes. So I'm taking this and I'm wiping my non-porous surface with this Clorox wipe right here. Now I'm supposed to allow it to be visibly wet for four minutes. So I'm just taking this and I'm just using this to disinfect just like that. So you just take the wipes out and it says do not use on skin. It says do not use on skin, right? Well, I think that means I'm supposed to use a glove. So read your instructions and before you use this product, and this is how I disinfect using Clorox wipes. This is the Clorox disinfectant wipe. To go pack kills 99% of bacteria and viruses. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.